Hey, hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Bloodswinger and ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new Ben 10 Customs video. We are continuing to design our Ben 10 Customs inside LEGO DC Super Villains. And today we're going to go on ahead and build a character that I personally did not even know existed. And, um, well, I guess technically there's a lot of characters that I did not know uh, existed from the Ben 10 universe. But, today especially so, because today's suggestion comes to us from the one and only Stellar basilisk i hope i said that right and uh here she says make older ben or ben 1000 so today we're actually not building an alien oddly enough but i felt like it'd be kind of cool actually to do that because then when we do the showcase we will have ben 10 ben 1000 and 10 aliens to do uh for the showcase so i think that could be a whole lot of fun so of course last time we did build jet ray which was awesome so i'm very 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 happy with uh, the result that we managed to get there now do not forget guys if you do go on ahead and enjoy today's video hit that like button down below as soon as we reach 500 likes the next video will be live and in addition to that i did want to go on ahead and thank you guys so very much for the support on a lot of these episodes you guys have been absolutely tremendous so thank you so much and don't forget, just like uh, Basilisk today, if you want to leave a suggestion for what we should design next, because after we're done today's design, which I think we'll build as kind of like the last character here, we will only have four other aliens to build before we do the big showcase video. So it's up to you guys to go on ahead and leave suggestions for what those aliens should be. And then I will definitely take that to heart and add and build them uh, on the next time. So let's get started here, shall we? Um, first things first, we're going to go on ahead and I guess, um, yeah, let's start with abilities. So first of all, we just need a regular double jump. So I think that's a pretty safe bet there. Uh, then we're going to go on ahead and I don't think I have super hyper jump activated, which is good. Uh, we do need to remove the growing ability for this one. Uh, the action button is just going to be just a regular... Well, I don't know. I don't think he's got any, like, blast attacks or anything like that. It is odd, though, that when I looked up some of the um, images for... Uh, what is his name? Ben 1000. In some of them, he did not actually wear the Omnitrix or, like, the... I think that's called the Omnitrix, like the watch. Uh, I don't know if it's still called the Omnitrix when he's Ben 1000, but regardless, he did not wear it. So I'm assuming that sometimes he wears it, sometimes he doesn't wear it. So that's a little odd. I'm not really sure, like, the decision-making around that. But regardless, um, I guess that's something that I did notice, but I'm not 100% certain about, obviously, um, how will that um, work with this futuristic version of Ben 10. Uh, now, the other thing we need to adjust, we're going to make the health icon red, actually, because I think that's fitting for the human form of Ben. Uh, speed is just normal, which is great. Uh, and then the posability, I think, should be maybe just normal kind of stance. Or maybe we could go with a stronger stance for him, because he does look like more of a mature variation of Ben. So maybe something like that would be kind of cool. All right. So time to build. So today's design should be relatively simple i think for the most part uh, so let's get to building i think we could just use like the regular face i think um we need to remove the goggles which is actually right there oh actually no we can't use the regular face what am i doing because we're supposed to uh give the character beard aren't we because he does have a beard i just i'm like <laughs> completely uh, like went over that um, okay, so let's see. Bearded characters. Which ones do we have? We have this, but that's going to be kind of a, a little bit of an overkill design with the beard. So that's not really going to work. Um, a beard like that could actually be very, very close to what we see from him. So as long as it lets us recolor things. So if we could make that dark brown, maybe even that brown there. Then change the wrinkles so that we remove them all together. Kind of like that. I think that works pretty well. Uh, so that's pretty decent, actually. That could work pretty well. And I know what you're saying. I can't see the face. Well, it's because we have the masks. There we go. Once we remove that, it looks a lot better, doesn't it? All right. So from there, let's think. How do we choose the hairstyle? Because that's going to be, a, uh, I know, a thing that's going to be, like, controversial here. Like, oh, well, why did you pick that one? So... I'm going to try to do my best at picking a hairstyle that sort of fits. I feel like that's the right color. Um, I always feel like that haircut actually does work really well. 
um, for this design. We could go with this one maybe as well. But I feel like that flatter design kind of works better here. So I think we'll go with that. Okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, we do need to remove the previously attached wings. So let's get rid of those. Now, for the arms, it looks to me like he wears kind of like a... It's weird because you see, when I, when I look at it, there's Ben 10,000. And then you typed in and you said to build Ben 1000. Because when I look at Ben 10,000, which comes up when you search up Ben 1000, which is now becoming confusing, but Ben 10,000 has like a green shirt uh, and he has actually gray in his hair and his beard is like uh, more of a goatee. Whereas Ben 1000 looks like he's got like a bluish, like two different shades of blue type shirt and he did, he has like a full beard. So we're building Ben 1000, like you suggested. So I don't want to see people going after me like, well, you should have given him a goatee and blah, 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 blah. We're not building that version of Ben. We're building the Ben 1000. So just clarifying that just in case uh, people get all, you know, upset and stuff. Okay, so step one here is to figure out the shading on the shirt, which I think that should work. So he's got like a short sleeve design, which is what we're trying to replicate to the best of our ability. No gloves. So that's pretty good. I actually think that this torso would not be the worst option here. Um, if we did just recolor it, but we would need to make it sort of like that color, maybe even lighter. Trying to see which color would be the best here. I think that works the best and closest to the design. So I think that's a pretty cool look. Now, of course, we could maybe find something better. So let me just scroll through. The reason why it'd be nice if we had some way to like have that uh, logo on his chest, because oddly enough, in the pictures, he has the logo on his chest the same way that like um, Ben has when he turns into aliens. So. I don't know, maybe Ben 1000 is like an alien form of Ben, which would be quite the twist, honestly. Um, but I don't think we'll find anything that's a, more accurate with the kind of like the black stripes along the sides. So we'll see, though. Let's just scroll through. Maybe we do find something more accurate here. Who knows? It's a possibility. It's not very likely, but it's a possibility. Um, I wonder what would that look like? recolored nah that's not gonna work and again ideally if i'm gonna recolor another one of the different torsos we want to see something that has the um like logo on the chest so i think that could be kind of cool i guess in theory what we could do is we could go with a custom torso altogether and do something like um let me think let me think which one would work here best maybe that and then we would go with like the light blue and the black. And then we would put the insignia on here like that, which actually does look pretty clean. Dang. I kind of like the way that that looks too. Man, oh man, that's tough. You know what? I think this is more accurate because we get the insignia on the torso. So we'll go with this one. Or on the chest, sorry. Which, I guess that's on the torso, so kind of fits. Um, all right. Now, as far as the legs are concerned, I think, from what I could tell, Ben 1000 wears green-ish pants, kind of. Like, so... I think so, at least, from the pictures that I see here from the actual show. It is odd, because I'm seeing another picture right now where he doesn't even have the insignia on his torso. So that's weird. It just looks like an X. So are there like multiple variations of Ben 1000? Let me know because I'd actually be genuinely curious to know um, how we're supposed to design this as accurate as possible. All right. So he does have a tool belt, it looks like, which means that it'd be kind of cool for us to actually include a belt um, using something like this almost. And then I think he has what looks like, I think... Um, it seems to me at least like brown boots. So I think that would be relatively accurate if we managed to capture that. Now, let's see. That belt won't work. We need to find something that looks 
like a utility belt. Sort of like that, actually. That works pretty well. And that green, I think, is the right... Well, maybe that green is better, actually. I don't know. I feel like this one's a bit better because it's got a lot more of a pop to it. Now, for the legs, we would want, like I said, maybe brown boots if we can have something like that. I think that could be kind of cool. It's just tough because you don't see the design very obviously. Maybe it's black boots. Black boots, I guess, would work as well. So either brown or black boots would be kind of a cool look here. I mean, those are green boots, but I just wanted to see what that would look like. Um, guess that could work right there. Just need to adjust the green to match the green that we see up there. I can't tell. Is it this green? I think it is, right? Let me see. It should be. Let's see the hips again. Yeah, it's the same green. Okay, cool. Nice. Now, the one other element we're going to add here is... Uh, so the Omnitrix usually goes on his left hand, right? So what we could do, again, just like we did with Ben, um, is just give him the lantern ring. But the problem is it's going to be in the right hand. So I'm not sure if that's best uh, or not. So it's up to you guys to let me know. What The other thing we could do, though, is kind of a little bit of a cheaper way out. But we can kind of emulate as though he has the Omnitrix on his wrist there. And then we give it a green glow. Let's see which green would work best. I think this green actually looks the coolest. So we can kind of do it this way as well. And then we get the effect that we were uh, seeking as well. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, this was definitely a fun character to build, especially because we finally got to build something a little bit more simplistic instead of the craziness that was and the difficulty that was some of the other character designs we've had to build so far, which was all the different aliens we've done, like Grey Matter and Swampfire and Blocks and the Wrath and Stinkfly. And the reason why I showed those to you guys is so that um, a lot of people uh, leave suggestions for the same aliens that we've already built. So I just want to go on ahead and preface that, that if it's the same alien that we've already built, I'm obviously not going to build it again because we've already done it. So I'd rather build some of the characters we haven't had a chance to build yet. So keep that in mind. I'm not just like ignoring some people's suggestions for like Diamond head or forearms we've built those characters that's why i'm not choosing them so keep that in mind it's not like a some sort of a, oh i don't want to build that character type thing it, it's not me trying to pick and choose which ones to build i try to use the comment section to decide which ones we're going to build so here we have ben 1000 looking pretty awesome all things considered i think we nailed the design let me know what you guys think of this design uh overall do you like it do you dislike it i think all things considered we did a pretty excellent job with this particular character and i think that i'm pretty happy with how he turned out although again like i said i would love to hear from you lovely folks as to what you think of this design do you think we missed any key details on this character and if so which ones would you say we did and of course like always have an absolutely fantastic day you can leave the suggestion for what we should build next down in the comment section below and if you don't want to leave a comment please help still sorry please still help out by simply thumbs upping one of the other comments that you agree with like if you see a comment that you're like oh i think that would be a cool idea just go on ahead and thumbs up that comment and that would really really help out a lot thanks a lot for watching i'll hopefully catch you guys here next time push out see you later alligators bye